So we just recently had a rain event about 10 minutes ago and I just wanted to show you an example of stormwater runoff coming off a residential property. This is our own property here. We have a recently established lawn it's still establishing itself um, and coming through here is where the drainage occurs and normally this water this was about six inches deep just a few minutes ago with how much heavy rain we had and normally this water would just rush off the property but here I have it going into you can see the water running here still it's about an inch deep right now um, I have it running into a garden area that we have and this is tough to see because it's middle of the summer it's full of growth right now but this is a swale which is a ditch built on contour. If you go over and take a look at it, this catches most of the runoff of our main roof. And right now it's about, probably about six inches deep. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and measure it here just with my hand. So about five and a half inches to six inches deep. And that's all water in a about 50 foot swale, just a very small swale. This is only about a foot and a half wide and about 12 inches deep of a swale. It's, um, so it's, it's a very small swale, but on a residential scale, it's incredibly effective at catching all of that water runoff from that yard as well as our main roof. So I just thought I'd provide a good example of how to prevent massive stormwater runoff if something like this is implemented on a widespread scale.